Hello, I'm Dr. Max, uh, Max Medical Robotic Hair Transplant Clinic. We have Tim who had his procedure yesterday. We actually had an introduction video uh, from yesterday and we completed this in record time. We were done, I believe, by 2 p.m. with all the harvesting and placing of grafts and uh, everything went pretty smooth. Very smooth. Yes. So, could you share some of your experience? Um, today, so that's the next day after the procedure. Uh, I'm surprisingly, the, there's no pain. I have not taken any of the pain medicine that was prescribed. You know, it definitely helped coming in the day before and doing the site mapping so that it wasn't such a long day. Just to clarify, with the robotic site mapping, so we actually created a uh, virtual map and the robot made uh, incisions very gently, very precisely. So he actually had a uh, a few hours after the procedure, you know, to, to make sure you know, that he likes the new hairline and uh, you know, you didn't have any suggestion after and in case we need to fix, we can always do it the day after. That's the reason why we prefer to do the site maybe the day before. Yeah, and it made, the, it made the day of the actual surgery much smoother. Um, I got here about 15 minutes early. They got all the prep done before 7. We were able to get started and it, the day was very smooth. Right, so you went today for your hyperbaric treatment, right? I, I did, I did, and the woman that does the hyperbaric chamber said that they looked great. Yeah. Said it looked like yeah. four or five days after, not the day after. And actually we'll show you uh, the way the sites, the harvesting site look like. It's, it's the next day after the procedure. So you didn't uh, have to take any pain medications? No pain medication at all. Um, after I had my site mapping, you had said that it was gonna feel like a sunburn. Yes. And then when the painkiller started to wear off, it did, it felt like an intense sunburn for about an hour and then it went away and it didn't feel like anything the day of the surgery. And so far I don't, I mean, it. my head's a little tense, but it's partly to do with the tape. Yes. Um, and then you have to wear a shower cap. And so it felt like I had a fever this morning, but without the shower cap, I, I think it was just the heat. I see. Of the shower cap. Exactly. So shower cap actually, after the procedure, keeps the area moist because it, it's it's preserved the humidity inside, and we provide a special spray that kind of helps to uh, keep the graft uh, in the moisture environment. So um, overall, what do you think? I'm I'm very happy. I'm very happy. If I could tell you anything when you get the instructions, read them over, ask questions. I brought my packet back today with everything circled that I didn't understand. Make sure that you're following the directions <laughs> that everything will go smooth. Absolutely. And we show you this, uh, the sites uh, where we uh, harvest the hair and the actual the new grafts in the front of his of the team hat. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.